Hamas's terror attack is hitting home here in Chicagoland. And Evans said a family desperately waiting for an update on two women who haven't been heard from since Saturday. Many community members showing up for a vigil tonight to show support for the family and other victims. And WJN's Dana Revick is joining us live with more tonight. Dana? Well, we heard from family of Judith and Natalie Renan, the mother and daughter here from Evanston, who have been missing. We know her father last heard from his daughter on Saturday. She texted him as, uh, as bombing had just begun in the area of Israel where they were visiting. She told her father they were moving to a guest house into a safe room, but after that, all communication ended. And tonight, her family praying for their safe return. Our hearts ache as we are gathered this evening to provide our unconditional and boundless emotional and spiritual support to the family of Judith and Natalie. We are, are pained. We're devastated. We're outraged on behalf of all of our people, but this hits home. Friends and family of Judith Renan and her 17-year-old daughter Natalie gathering in prayer. Kind person, she's a sweetheart. She loves animals, like, like lives, uh, like friends. Typical teenager. Could never imagine that she'd be placed in that kind of situation. The Evanston residents were in an area of Israel called Nahal Oz near the Gaza Strip and haven't been heard from since Hamas militants attacked the area on Saturday. My sister and niece arrived to Israel celebrate, to celebrate my mom's 85th birthday and spend the Jewish holidays with us. As you know, Judith and Natalie were taken hostage by cruel Hamas terrorists during the Shabbat. Sorry, it's under these circumstances. Yeah, thank you for your yeah, thank you very much. We're here. We're not going anywhere. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arriving in Israel for a visit with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has vowed Hamas will be crushed after Saturday's brutal terror attacks. Israeli Defense Forces continuing bombing runs on the Gaza Strip. Hamas returning fire, launching rockets back into Israel. Netanyahu says this is step one of the IDF operation. Step two would be a ground invasion, an order that hasn't been given yet. Together we will fortify our hope and together we will pray for Judith Natalie. From Evanston to Daly Plaza and across the world, supporters of Israel coming together. I believe that every person of human conscience should be outraged and should feel like they were stabbed in the heart by a group of people who did the most inhumane act to civilian innocent people. Family members are not confident that Judith and her daughter are together at this point. They spoke with U.S. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky today, waiting for any sort of update as the U.S. works with Israeli officials on a plan to try to extract hostages out of Gaza. Live in Evanston, Dana Rebic, WGN News.